As over 300,000 of you already know, I recently released a video about the theory that a highly decorated China Eastern Airlines captain, recently demoted to co-pilot who was the co-pilot on the ill-fated Flight 5735, may have suffered a breakdown and possibly intentionally caused the demise of that aircraft. And as expected, the comments were widely varied, from yeah, this seems plausible, to my old favorite, hey Maximus you clown, you're just spreading rumors. Well, what I call news, some may call rumors. But that brings me to the subject of today's video. Because it seems that rumors aren't just limited to free western civilization anymore. So now it seems that these rumors have become a problem in the highly media controlled communist nation of China. The Chinese government is growing increasingly frustrated at the continuous online rumor mill in China, postulating the theory that Zhang Zhengping, the co-pilot of the flight, could have possibly been involved in its demise. Now there are rumors in China that a note was found in the co-pilot's hotel room after the crash. And even more online rumors suggest that there are secret control tower audio tapes that reveal that they heard the whole incident over the cockpit radio as it happened. But as crazy as all that sounds, and for to be coming out of China of all places, no matter how you wrap that, that's real news. So we're going to cut through what is real and what may just be urban legend and get to the bottom of it all next on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here. So I need to say this right off the top, and please hear this. I honestly hope that when this crash investigation is over, that we will find out that this decorated, experienced co-pilot of Flight 5735 had nothing to do with this terrible disaster, and that his name and his family's name will be made whole. I really hope that. But in the meantime, this is a big aviation news story that I find interesting, and I know many of you do too. So that's why I'm exploring this story today. So as I said, here in the West, we've been hearing theories that a one-time highly decorated 59-year-old former senior captain, Zhang Zhengping at China Eastern Airlines, had recently been demoted to co-pilot without an explanation. Well, now the Chinese-owned media propaganda sites are publicly addressing rumors that have gone viral on the Chinese internet. That China's version of the FAA, the CAAC, the Civil Aviation Administration of China, has begun to implement a process for flight crews to undergo mental health monitoring as a result of news that early investigation of the flight data and voice recorders have revealed that the co-pilot may have been physically manipulating the controls of the 737, intentionally crashing the aircraft. So as you can imagine, in a country whose media and internet are so tightly controlled, this kind of viral news spreading cannot be tolerated. China is taking this so seriously that all of its state-run papers and websites, including China Daily and the Global Times, are running stories on this subject. But what is odd is that these state-run papers usually just shut down news like this and never acknowledge it. So why in this case are they circling the wagon, so to speak? Well, I don't know, but I do find it curious. How about you? Be sure to let me know down below. The state-run China Daily puts it like this. The cause of the crash of a China Eastern Airlines aircraft on March 21st is still undetermined. And any rumors saying the analysis of the data of the black boxes have been completed and that the co-pilot was responsible are untrue. The state-run paper added that the CAAC has noticed these rumors falsely using the names of government bodies and public security departments circulating online recently. Besides blaming the co-pilot for the crash and announcing the analysis of the black boxes has been leaked, some also say that the administration has issued an urgent directive requiring pilots to take psychological health assessments. Then they added this, those rumors have severely misguided the public and interrupted the investigation. Together with the public security departments, the government police, we are trying to find out those responsible for spreading the rumors, and they will be handled in accordance with the law. Well, that sounds ominous. However, it is true that China did in fact require pilots to undergo a psychological evaluation in the wake of the crash. But why? 
Again, according to state-run China Daily, they said it's undeniable that the crash has had certain degree of physiological and emotional impact on pilots and crews. Some of them, especially the young employees, have become stressed and depressed, and that the administration has attached great importance to looking after their mental health. They said we asked airlines to offer psychological support to their pilots and crew members to ensure they are emotionally stable. Such support has proved effective and the employees can fully take on the responsibility of aviation safety. Adding that taking care of civil aviation employees' mental health is part of routine management. Additionally, they launched a two-week safety inspection of the industry aimed at discovering and eliminating safety hazards. Before the crash, the Chinese mainland had a safe flight record of 4,227 days, the best such record anywhere in the world. I imagine that's quite verifiable, but still, you know, consider the source. However, at this point, I need to remind you that in these state-run papers that we see refute the claims appearing on the internet in China, this is the Chinese government telling their citizens exactly what they want them to hear. And that's why we can't just dismiss the rumors coming from the citizens of China no matter how fantastical they seem. Because like I said, you have to consider the source. So the reason China gives for giving pilots psychological evaluations makes sense on its face. Then again, it does add a bit of credence to the rumors running rampant in the country. Okay, and now for a little YouTube wordplay. In the hopes that this video won't get demonetized, I trust if I talk about the co-pilot leaving a note behind in his hotel room, you all could infer exactly what kind of note I'm talking about, right? Okay. The other viral rumor is that in the note left by co-pilot Zhang Zhengping in his hotel room before he allegedly initiated his plan to doom the airliner. In the note, it is said that Zhang Ping accused the leaders of China Eastern of squeezing employees and the Chinese government of creating a bubble in the economy. The claims also suggest that Zhang Ping invested in China's second largest real estate developer, China Evergrande, and lost everything and went broke when the company began encountering serious debt troubles. But investigations into the online rumors have failed to determine if they are in fact true and one expert suggests they're possibly not true. Chang Su, a pseudonym of a former employee of Continental Airlines who now lives in the United States, has told the website there is reason to doubt the authenticity of a supposed note circulating online. Su said it doesn't look like something written by a person in the industry. It's shoddy and hard to believe. Also, Twitter and rogue websites are reporting that the Yunnan control tower heard the whole incident in the cockpit of the doomed flight. But Su said it is even more strange that the Yunnan control tower can hear the whole process in the cockpit. The plane is far away from Kunming and it will not maintain radio contact with Kunming control tower, nor can it be contacted because it's too far away. Also, he said if the ground can hear what's going on in the cockpit, then why would you need to wait for cockpit voice recorders to be analyzed? We would already know the answer, not to mention the need for the Americans' help to decipher it. But I hear some of you saying, Well then, Maximus, what's the point of this video? In life, we all have a fear of the unknown when it comes to air disasters. It's human nature. We all want to know why it happened. We need to know what happened. But social media is a breeding ground for rumors. And what is sad is that so many people fall for any rumor that comes along, while many others are intelligent and wait for evidence and the facts. But as they say, nature abhors a vacuum and in the absence of actual news, sadly rumors will always fill that vacuum void. But the thing that jumped out at me about this whole situation is that when an Iron Curtain country like China cannot put a stop to the vast internet rumors and conspiracy theories we here in the West are quite accustomed to, that's when I take notice and think the actual truth may be buried somewhere between the rumors and speculation and the truth. But it's not important what I think. What do you think? I really do want to know, especially if you're not the type who doesn't normally take the time to comment on YouTube videos. Give me your theories and ideas. Call me a clown if you want. But let me know what your real theories are about the crash of China Eastern Airlines Flight 5735. And know that if I don't reply to every comment, I usually read most of them. So let me know down below. Well, that's going to do it for now. Oh, and Dennis and someone, thanks for the coffee. The coffee and merch links are always in the description. And as always, on your way out, please don't forget to subscribe, like, 
share and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time. In the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.